So I see a reflection of myself in the ashes because, in fact, eventually we are all dust. I feel as though they do contain a certain degree of, of suffering. Some of the material was donated from an animal crematorium. It was from various animals that had been abandoned or abused, various animals without, um, without an owner to whom the ashes would go back, and also from wood ash. So I was collecting from various different chimney sweeps, from various different homes with uh, fireplaces and restaurants. In this piece, I wore a mask because the room was filled with dust, and I was, even with the mask, actually inhaled the ashes. I have a mass of ashes that are precisely the weight of my own body. I'm uh, very aware of the, the interaction and the energy and the presence of the audience, the sounds surrounding me and, and the, the sense of touch, the way that the material feels. The work is very improvisational, actually. I didn't know how I would be reacting uh, with this material. What can happen in that space between the, the eye contact, the sort of energy that can develop and the way that perception can change and the sort of exchange that can take place between two people is extremely powerful. There can be a moment when you um, have a moment of eye contact with somebody and maybe you change their routine and maybe you change their uh, inner state and maybe um, that, that exchange is somehow affecting to them and certainly to me as a performer. The ashes to me really um, signify the layers of history that, um, that society is living on top of. Thank you.